Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be using Move AI to capture a dual dance performance. We have our setup ready. We have six iPhone 13 Pros and six tripods. So the next thing we're going to be doing is obviously doing our calibration. So let's go ahead and get that done. OK, so let's log in. Next, we'll say host session, then enter a project and session name. Now, don't press record session yet. Next, we'll go to all of our camera phones, and in the Move AI app, choose Join as Camera. When all of your devices are connected, you can proceed to the next page by clicking Record Session. Now you should be able to see all of your camera thumbnails on this screen. Okay, so let's go over how to calibrate. To perform a calibration, have your talent stand in the center of the capture area. Next, have your talent clap three times above their head, making sure they are clapping above their head so that all the cameras can hear the clap at the same time. Additionally, since I have soft, fragile model hands, instead of using my hands to clap, I bought a film slate, as you can see in this video. Now, after clapping three times, I then take the clapper from Jesse and ran as fast as I could behind a wall where the cameras cannot see me. Next, I then instructed Jesse to proceed by having her stand in a Y pose for a couple of seconds, then walk from the middle of the capture area to the edge of the volume in front of each phone, making sure to face all the phones the entire time. Make sure to move in a natural motion, pausing at each phone and returning to the center while still facing the phone. Repeat this motion to each phone moving back to the center afterwards before moving on to the next. Pro tips. As you can see here, I bought some markers, all colors of the rainbow, to help Jesse not go out of bounds during recording. Second, make sure all the camera point of views can see your talent from head to toe the entire time. Third, if the phones are moved even so slightly at any time during the shoot, a new calibration will be required for optimal results. And lastly, again, make sure only the talent is in the capture area during the calibration. Now once the calibration is done, click on the new scene button and give your scene a name. After that, you'll be back in a recording window. Now let's talk about recording a take. Have your talent or talents stand in the center of the capture area, press record on the host phone, and have your calibrating talent clap three times above their head, again making sure that they clap above their head. After that, have both your talents hold a T-pose for a couple of seconds, and then that's it. Have them perform. Now, make sure your talents remain inside the capture volume and that the time from the T-pose to the end of your movements does not exceed four minutes. Once you are finished with the take, press the red square button. Once you are finished recording all of your takes, click Finish Recording at the bottom. This is going to take you to the Manage Session page. Now you have two options here. Clicking Save to Host will transfer all of your video files from all your camera phones to your host phone. However, if all your phones are connected to the internet, you can select Upload All. This will automatically upload all of your videos to your Move AI account. I highly suggest to not move your phones until the transfers or uploads are finished. After all the files have been transferred and uploaded, you can click close or close and exit session. Okay, so once all of your files are uploaded, you can go ahead and log in to Move AI using your own account. And as you can see here, these are all my projects. And the one we're gonna be working on is called Test 1P. So I'll go ahead and click that. And now this is gonna open up the session overview page. Now, the first thing we wanna do here is make sure all of our videos made it in. It looks like we have six cameras. Make sure all of the videos are in there. We have three calibration takes and two actual takes that day. So that's good. We have all of our videos. And the first thing we're going to be doing is creating a calibration. So click on the plus calibration. And then what I will do is select the third calibration Go to the next camera and then pretty much just do the same exact thing for all the cameras five and then six 
and then I'm gonna go back to my camera one because I'm going to play this and give it a listen because I need to know a couple of things from this video. I need to know when the clapper started, when it ended, when my take started, and when my take ended. Okay, so I'll press play here. So there's the first one, seven seconds. Eight seconds. So first clap, seven. Last clap, eight. And then what I'll do is I'll take the clapper board and I'm going to go hide. And then we'll say the take will start at 14 seconds. And then we can end it at 118. All right. So we have all that information now. 118. We have 14 seconds. So what I'm going to do now is click save. This is gonna tell me, hey, confirm all your calibration takes. I'm gonna say, okay. So for the actor profile, I can create a new one, but Jesse and I are pretty much the same height. So I'm just gonna say J bro right here, 1.62 meters. And this is where we're gonna input that first clap. So calibration auto sync videos, it was zero, zero seven, zero, and zero eight. And then for the take, we're gonna say zero, 14, and it was one, 18. All right, so we got an error here. The calibration title needs to be changed. So I'm just going to say calibration three with no spaces and then save and run. Okay, so once that's finished, this is now going to start and launch our calibration take. And you can see right here is the status. So I'm going to be right back whenever this reaches 100%. All right, so once our calibration is finished, let's go ahead and move to our takes. So in the takes tab, we're gonna click on this take and we're gonna select take two for each of the cameras. Take two, take two, take two. And again, we're gonna go back to camera one, press play. There's the first clap. Four, three seconds and four. Okay, here's the T-post. So again, we can start at 14 seconds and then towards the end, I would say about three minutes. So 14 to three minutes. And I'll save this, confirm all your videos, and we'll just say this is take two. And then the actor number, we have two talents, no props. Let's go with 003004. Action start time is 014 to three minutes flat. All right, make sure everything is good. We'll just say, we'll just do take two. Okay, and then once that's done, let's go ahead and click on save. Okay, so in this page right here, we're going to have the calibration, which is the one that we uploaded. And for fingers, I'm going to turn this off because the cameras were pretty far from the talent. So I'm not going to have this turned on. I'm just going to add the finger animation later on. And then for the rig, I'm going to select the male one version three. That's fine. And additionally, if you scroll down, they have a lot more options here now you can even export it to usd for omniverse or bvh if you want to but for this video right here we're going to select fbx and i'll just click on run okay so our take is done processing and on the right side you're going to see that we have a download button so i'll click that and you're going to see a couple of options here you have an fbx blend and then maya or you can download the rig, preview video, and FBX cameras if you want to. For me, I usually do the FBX pre-retarget, so I'll click that. And that is now going to download four different files for me. So if you're using Google Chrome, I think by default, the multiple download is actually disabled. To fix that, go to the top right corner and click on this and just say Manage. And what you need to do is make sure you add Move AI to be allowed to automatically download multiple files so we have four different files instead of just one. So after downloading the files from Move AI, you're going to see we have four here since we had two talents. We have talent number one, 37.5 meg, and then talent number two. Additionally, if you want to see the combined FBX, it's this one right here. Now, the cool thing about this is, since as you all know, I use iClone, if you go to the Move AI docs and you click on Character Creator 4, they actually have a Move AI pre-target 3DX profile for you that you can download here. What that means is I can actually drag and drop this. So I have iClone open here. I can actually drag and drop this here and just select that profile that I downloaded, which is going to be this. And I can say convert all. Now after doing that, this is going to let you pretty much import the animation from Move AI straight away. So if I hit Alt, you're going to see that the animation is already applied directly to the uh, iClone character here. And from here, 
you know, you can clean it up a little bit. You can do all kinds of stuff. So you can also add hand gestures in here if you want to, which I'm going to end up doing. If you go to hand gesture, I can actually add hand gestures to this because as you saw, we didn't really ha add any hand gestures. So we're going to add it after the fact here. But that's pretty much it. That is how you can use Move AI combined with iPhones to capture a duo dance performance without any motion capture suits. No more talking about it The way it is, the way it is It's no mystery There's no getting around it When you're here, when you're here We got chemistry We light up when we ignite When you leave, don't forget to remember, don't forget to remember me. When you leave, don't forget to remember, don't forget to remember me. Remember me. I fight for you every second To keep your touch, keep your touch In my memory I try not to regret it What could have been, should have been If you would stay with me When you 